Which is also Scream 5. Yes, it's not like the confusing Halloween requel trilogy. This is definitively Scream 5 taking place in the same timeline and universe and bringing back a good amount of original actors to reprise their roles, including Marley Shelton from Scream 4. Scream 5 picks up over a decade since Scream 4 in 2011 and features a new group of teens trying to survive a new ghost face killer after attacks and murders take place, complete with the meta commentary the series is known for. Probably best shown off early on in the movie with a character going on a monologue about requels and another about elevated horror films. If you think Scream is supposed to be a straight slasher, I'm sorry, that's not the kind of movie this is. Which is odd, because that's exactly what the TV show on MTV was. It's still a whodunit that does keep you guessing for the most part. A couple good twists, some interesting characters, and some great gore make for a fun time. I wish the kills were a bit more creative though than just a lot of variations of stabbing, but hey, the blood is good and most stabs are on screen which is even better. The film even plays with common slasher appearance tropes. It's not afraid to poke fun at itself, and we have to talk about the original series actors as well. Easily the strongest and smartest part of the film. Dewey, Sydney, Gale, they're all here and do a great job. Even the original voice of Ghostface is here. Overall, this film is a return to form for the franchise and is very, very much trying to recapture the spirit of the first, for better or for worse. Some of the meta commentary can get admittedly cringy, but that's how Scream is, so I can't really get annoyed with it. It does take itself a little bit too seriously, so these meta moments stand out way more than they should. Characters still behave mostly realistically, except for the cops, ironically enough. <sighs> I'm in a weird position because as a Scream movie, it's really good, but as a slasher film, it's just decent. It would need more creative kills and more character interactions to be better by general slasher standards, but I mean, that's the joke. It's not supposed to be a regular slasher. It's a commentary on slashers. I guess now it's a commentary on requels, given it does poke fun at Halloween and such. So it's difficult to really grade. I think the meta commentary needed a bit more of a rewrite to feel better fleshed out into this world, but otherwise it's still fun. Give it a watch, just know what this is before you go into it or you'll probably be disappointed. Also, great cameo by a wonderful YouTube channel I watch dedicated to horror. Great to see them being recognized more and more. Anyway, Scream gets a 7 out of 10 from me. Hey, hey guys, thanks for checking this one out. Uh, I'm really, I was really excited for this one, even though I've never been a big Scream fan. This one definitely is for the fans, which makes a lot of sense in hindsight, but even more so, it just works. There's so many callbacks to the films, and there's more Easter eggs here or there for like, oh, here, here's Elm Street. Oh, we're gonna talk about Friday. Oh, we're gonna talk about Halloween. But, like, it's still good. At least, like, this was made where you knew that they, people knew the details, so it would be a better film <laughs> overall. But anyway, that's what I think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss a beat. Follow my Twitter if you want. Uh, comment down below what else I should watch. And hey, have a great day. And if you're not, have a better one. See ya.